Hey there everyone, my name is Crow and welcome to Let's Play Wok Fu. This game is a turn-based strategy game and um, I discovered it about a year and a half, two years back, but I never really put much time and effort into it because if you didn't have membership, it was pretty much pointless. You were stuck in the tutorial area for the most part. There really wasn't a whole lot you could do, which is a real shame because the game had a lot of, lot of features and actually was worth the membership. I'm just picky like that. I, I'm a one-time buy kind of person. I like to pay for a game once. Even if the subscription is only like five, ten dollars a month, still, if you play the game for a year, you're paying more than twice what you'd pay for an actual, like, full release title at $60. So this is the tutorial zone. It's different from what I remember. I pretty much swore the game off because I swore as long as they had a membership, I wasn't going to touch it because the tutorial bits being stuck there was lame, but hello. Hey newbie, give me a hand getting rid of this Woden, would ya? Oh yeah, I got killed a Woden. Start a fight. Okay, so this game is really cool because when you start a fight, like, you move around the field like any other RPG, but when you start a fight, the fight actually takes place on the terrain that you're currently standing on, which pretty much gives you an endless different type of battlefield, you know? It isn't you go into an instance like, say, Final Fantasy Tactics was, depending on the terrain that you were standing on, you'd go into, like, a swamp place or it would be, like, an underground place or something like that. This game, wherever you're standing, that's where the battle takes place. And in case you're wondering, before I start this fight, you can actually group together with friends and battle against other people and have like two on two, three on three and stuff like that. So if you love these tactics type based games and you've been waiting for something like this, is the perfect time to jump on it. The fight has begun. My turn. Okay, move around in a fight. You click. You can only move so many spaces per turn. I'm already aware of how the whole tactic system works. Then you click in your turn button, which is conveniently located right here in turn. Now, it's probably going to take advantage of the whole, if you hit someone from the side or from the back, you're going to do more damage and also have a higher chance of hitting them, I would assume. So, I'm going to come over here to the side of him and uh, use my fist on his face. Kabam! <laughs> Not bad for a newbie. <laughs> With her, the fight is going to be a lot harder. Oh, I can't wait to see how you get on. <laughs> what are you implying, Panda? Start a fight. Okay. Can I move anywhere I want before I start the fight? Oh. Now I'll start a fight. Oh, it's going to tell me about the placement phase anyway. You can place your character anywhere you want to place them. To start a fight, choose the most advantageous position and click right to launch the battle. Assuming I'm going to go first. No, they're going to go first. So I want to be over here. Ready to fight. There you go. Now I can get the advantageous placement. Punch you in the back of the face. Command Earth, right click, open the detail one. I'm not going to right click. I just want to figure out what the hell it does. Kerblam! Did a lot of damage, but he's still standing. Oh, he's got eight more HP. Okay, I'll end turn now. Oh. I thought it was telling me to use it, the same attack again. Alright, I'll come to the side, because apparently three movements is the max for me right now. I'll use this on you again. This is probably teaching you about uh, the difference of elemental effects, because I'm hitting them with an earth attack and they're fire, so I'm assuming he's weak to uh, earth. Your elemental spells have varying effects useful in different situations right click to open a detail window fruit string find flick serious damage but only close combat yep 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 so once you complete the tutorial you'll actually get to pick your class and your class you, when you first create a character I don't assume that making your physical appearance is really that important because your class actually changes everything about you like the way you look everything so Okay, it's still telling me about elements. If I'm using magic, I don't know if it affects it if I hit him from the side or not. Hmm. You steadily regain health outside of combat. You can regain hmm. faster by sitting. Okay, sit button. Congratulations, after double fight, you can sit down and recover your health more quickly. Alright. I think I'm already at full hmm. HP, though. What talent at sitting down? Hmm. I would know about that. Now, all you have to do is reunite the pieces of your hero soul to incarnate. Follow me. Okay. 
guess I don't have a choice in the matter. 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 Now this looks fami familiar. Hello, cautious crow. I am Wolfram, the wisest of all boo wolves. Welcome to my territory. Souls crossing. Are you here to take the next step forwards to full incarnation? That's right. Is there anything I ought to know? What do you want? Well, gee, sir, is there anything I ought to know? Ogre is chaos turned the world of 12 upside down. Nobody's managed to restore order so far. Now it's up to you to try. You're going to have to learn how to protect life as well as destroy it. You got it. I can do that, especially the second part. Use the extract on a monster to gather the seeds needed to generate other monsters from the same family in the same area. Okay, so this is a really cool aspect of the game that actually was present the last time I played it. You have full control of the way the world works. You have control of the world's environment, the flowers, the animals, everything you can control. Now, where's my extract button? Pretty much I'm going to take the... Uh, Okay, look, there's no there's no easy way around this. I'm taking the seed of the bunny and I'm using it to make more bunnies. <laughs> oh, there's the adorable wolf. Oh, I guess I gotta put it on soil. Okay. So you can look at this whatever way you want, but that's what I'm doing. I'm impregnating the soil with more bunnies and it's gonna hatch a new bunny. Did I make one? I couldn't tell. Alright, but so... The the game, all of its different environments are completely controllable and altered. Al you can alter everything. You can, um... Like, you can even make an certain animals extinct. If you just kill them all. And no one has any seeds to regenerate them. Obviously, that's quite next to impossible. Because pe everyone probably has seeds of one animal or another. So... But this guy is going to kind of give you an example. If I were to kill a lot of these bunnies, for example, he would plant more of them. And this guy, as you can see, <laughs> he gets rid of the surplus. Now, I don't think that these guys are actually in the actual world. They're just here for tutorial purposes to make sure you don't run out of bunnies. Ecosystem interface shows you. Oh crap! I probably should have seen. I actually read that. Wishes of the clan member will be shown in the ecosystem interface. Yellow bars show the desired values. A bonus is given to all players if the desires are met. Each clan member has different wishes and bonuses. All right. Ooh, healing properties. I guess I can't equip those yet. Oh well. Bye, Woden. I want that ability. Where's the eat Woden ability? Anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to mess around for too long because I actually want to show you guys what it looks like when you can choose your like real class. Because the system that is put in place right here, it's really cool and everything. Uh, the way the tutorial used to be is you actually chose your class before uh, you went into this whole tutorial thing. But I suppose this makes it a lot uh, easier for everyone to kind of get the hang of the game. All right, and F. Boom, punch him in the back of the head. No problem. And turn. Which is space. I need to remember that key. Remembering hotkeys for the um, battle makes things a lot quicker and smoother. Boom, you dead. Each fight gives you experience. Once the meter is full, you gain a level. Well, I could have guessed even that much. And There has to be a way to rotate. I'm, it's probably right in front of me, like this key right here, for example. Good God Almighty. All right. I'm a moron. To my credit, though, I don't think there was actually any tutorial that told me how to do that, even though arrows should be pretty obvious. And I think you can actually choose which way you look, yeah, after you, like, you attack, for example, and then you can end your turn, and that way you can put it advantageous. That way you don't get hit in the back. How much health does he have? I can finish him off with this. I don't want to waste all my MPs. So to speak. Oh, I got skill points. Each level gives five skill points to distribute on your character page to increase your power while fighting. Now, I highly doubt characters probably C, right? Oh, I was wrong. K, J, L, H, J, G. I already said J. Uh, 
W. That's the ecosystem. I need help. Okay, where's that icon? Can I just click on... Oh. Oh. That's cool. You can change the health to, like, different forms. You can just put, like, your total health, your percentage, or, see like, your total out of your total. You know what I'm talking about. I'm stupid with this kind of stuff, but you probably still understand what I'm trying to say. I hope, anyways. Um, can I just hit escape? And No, 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 no. Don't change character. Just options. Commands. Call for help. Give up. Lock the fight. Move the camera in a fight. That's all good and whatnot, but I really just want to know how to open up my character menu. Character page is P. I probably seen that at some point, but it was too stupid to notice it. All right. Distribute your five points. Now, I don't think that these are going to stick with you when you actually make your full character. I think it's just an example, but just in case... I'm gonna see what each of them do. Okay, I'm assuming, okay, so each thing has like their own elemental properties as well. Each agility point increases your damage and resistance to air attacks. Each point, each chance point increases your damage and resistance to water attacks. Okay. But does it also work in a traditional sense where as strength also increases the amount of damage you deal on physical attacks, intelligence also increases the damage you do on magical attacks? That's what I'm curious to know. I don't, I don't know if that is actually a thing or not, but assuming that I'm using earth attacks right now, strength is probably the way to go. If I was going to give myself strength, which I will give myself one strength. Wait, why did that take three points to put that up by one? Holy crap. Okay, so it's strength, intelligence, chance, agility. I want chance, but geez, that takes a lot. Okay, so obviously the logistical thing would be to... I like speed, but I also like tankiness. And since there's no defense, it's just health points. Well, technically there is defense, because every point you put up gives you your strength and your resistance to that element. So, technically there is defense. I don't know, that's kind of weird. I like the way it works, though. Collect your reward from Wolfram, alright? Distance Dojo. Mm. Distance mastery is essential in casting various spells. Gotcha. Mm. In this fight, you're going to learn a new spell and use mm. it to reach this Wodent. That'd be nice. Fight. When the enemy is too far, you can use a spell with a larger range. This value is shown in the description of the spell and is directly on the ground once it's been selected. Right. So which spell are you referring to? Because I don't currently have any such spell. Oh, I gotta start the fight. Herp -a derp derp There's the spell. Okay, I can't hit him though. Like, even where I am right now, I still can't hit him. I'd have to, like, go to the side of him. Unless you're telling me to walk there. I'm confused. Alright, I'm gonna go here, because I think this is where I actually need to go to hit him. There we go. Well, that only did one damage. Oh, he's only got two health, so I guess that doesn't really matter. You're such a great student, your next step will be a lesson about elements. Yay! During a fight, the element that you use will influence your damages. Mm. Try to defeat this Wodan, observe it to discover its true weakness, and then strike. Its weakness would be earth, I suppose. Or water. Depending on how this game works. Okay, I'll run up to you and hit you with Earth. Did that do no damage to him, by the way? You can see fighters' elemental resistance by right-clicking on them. To penetrate your enemy's defenses, attack it using a spell that does damage to the element which is the weakest. Which is air. Well, I'm fucking stupid. 
He has complete resistance against everything except for air. Haruken. Oh wait, died. Oh, okay. You can't you can't attack directly in front of you with that spell. There we go. Can I use the same spell more than twice? Okay, so you you do have action points, and and you can keep attacking until that those action points run out. I don't know what the W stands for though. So those are your movement points, those are your action points, and then the W, I think it has something to do with your class. Um, but I don't exactly recall. They could have told me throughout this tutorial, and I just haven't been reading because I'm a moron, so that's potential. That's potentially possible. Alright, and one more to do it. <laughs> Your soul is befitting a hero. You could go in my butt kicking dojo, you'll learn how to increase your damages. Got it. Ancient art of butt kicking involves placing priority on lateral and posterior. Hmm. Oh, try to kick this Woden's butt. Thanks to me, he's immune to any damage inflicted from the front. Well, that's kind of mean of you. This creature cannot be captured. Well, that's a, that's a shame. Fight positioning. Attacking an adversary from the side will deal more damage than from the front, and even more damage will be done from behind, so pay attention to your own positioning. Understood. So it's pretty much... Okay, he has no resistances or weaknesses. So I should just hit him with this, because I think I did most damage with this. Ability. And I, oh, I'm too close to him to use my wind attack, right? Yep. And the fist takes three action points. Got it. I'm starting to get the hang of how this stuff works. Looks like I'm about done here, which is about damn time. Sometimes a fight simply won't win itself. You need to support your allies to guarantee your victory. You're going to learn a new spell in this fight. If you use it well, it will win you the battle. All right. Placement phase. Certain victories will depend on how much you can help your allies by healing them, for example. Be sure to also master the spells you can cast on your allies. Noted. Okay, so you're going to tell me to use this on Blob, right? Alright, I did nothing. Oh, crap, I'm not in range to hit him with that. Alright, just wait, I guess. Okay, I'll heal you, and then you can kill the Woden. And he's completely resistant against water. But I can still hit him, can I? Oh, wait, can I hit him? Yeah, I can still. Oh, I do no damage to him, though. He's immune to me. Ouch, I wouldn't say no to a healing spell. I bet you wouldn't, you greedy little shit. I guess I'm just gonna keep killing him over. Hugbro, we don't have to do anything. Heal me a bit. Do you? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, I do. I got you. I can actually do it twice, I think. Oh, he didn't need it twice. Fine. Very good. Your soul now knows all I can teach. Leave the dojo and challenge the guardian of the garden to rest. You're ready. Take that, branches. Let's see how long you can risk my new hatchet. Uh... You shouldn't do that to the forest. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna kick your ass then. Winners, I got a lot of loot there. Do I take it or do I automatically? I think I automatically. What a show of force, and I think the lumber there. You can leave the garden by staying in front of me and then go and try out the axe in the wooden, wooden dungeon. Alright, do I have to equip these things first? I think so. I think I could have equipped it a bunch of stuff actually that I haven't been equipping. Wooden slippers. Okay, it actually changes the way you look, which is cool. I hate when games don't change the way you look when you equip stuff. Wooden ring. What does that actually do? Plus two HP. Ah, uh, okay. You don't equip this. 
and this thing. Wooden around your pelvis. Whoa, take it easy, hot stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's see what you got waiting for me over here. All right, guys. Here we are at the Woden dungeon. Got my epic Woden gear on now. Did I just learned a new spell or something. Oh no, I got like a buff. Okay, monsters and players can be affected by one or more states with varying durations. Their effects are listed in the fires tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's talking about the buffs or debuffs, probably. Defeat the Dark Woden in the last room. That's cool. Okay, it also, oh, it swings in an arc. Okay, so it hits in front of you, the square to the left of that, and then the square directly to the left of you. That is awesome. Did not know that. Like this game more now. Boom. Just want to make sure I have full health before I go in here because I don't know what I'm up against. Oh. That's what I'm up against. Placement phase. I do go first. Okay. So what kind of resistances do you have? You have no resistances, but you have 20 HP. Well, I'm only going to be able to hit you with my wind for now. But I can hit you with it three times. What can you do? I mean, 8 damage really isn't that much, to be honest. So the other guys get close, that's definitely my best choice of actions. Is to hit him with my elemental attack. Back up one. Oh, crap, did he just counterattack me? I didn't hit, I didn't tell them to continue. That's weird. Oh, they're, they're actually making sad faces at me when I'm hitting them. That's terrible. I'm destroying their homes and shit, and they're like all pissed and sad about it. Soul complete. Congratulations, Cautious Crow. Your soul is complete, and now heroic it is. How heroic? Not now. Nope. You can leave the dungeon by placing yourself in front of me. You can ask so to help with your incarnation and now that I have a hundred percent download complete I'll actually be able to take advantage of this hey cat meow 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 I'm so okay the Karan kitty come to see me when you reunite all the shards of your soul then you'll be ready to sin I'm ready meow, meow. Very well. In a minute, I'll send you down to the world of 12. Be warned, though, Ogres chaos is still raging, and you still have a lot to learn about where it comes from. So ready to big drop? Ready. And now it's time to be reincarnated. Ah, here we are. So if you've managed to stick with me for this long, this is the official character creation <laughs> so when you start you're only allowed to choose the disembodied but once you are done with the tutorial you can choose any class you want this was the one I used when I used to play so I'm just gonna recap because there's been some new ones since I've last played Ravy courage and like shine weapons go getting warriors beyond approach they certainly know how to use their weapons okay so I'm assuming they're like the heavy attack dealer this is obviously the ranger. Steadily judgment, sharp eyes, impress everyone, even her enemies, as accurate as they are proud. Yep, you're an archer. What are you exactly? A mage? Medical knowledge saves lives every day. Disciples, healers with the power. Okay, well. Yeah, see, this is also really cool, is you can actually have male or female of all different classes. Which is pretty interesting if, like, if you care about that kind of stuff, which I do. This is like the healer, which her disciples are healers with the power to ease pain with a single word, as well as healing allies. Their potent under utterances can also hurt enemies. Gotcha. Sram shadows. Graham. Sram has tamed the shadows and adopted some vi visibility as his brother. Srams are assassins who love purses, especially when they're full. Okay, so you're the assassin. And patient and intelligent rogues don't throw themselves into the battle head first like IOPS but ingeniously set up their bomb traps to cause as much devastation as possible they don't think twice about using their guns to keep enemies at bay and aren't ashamed of running away when a situation turns quickly sounds like me 
That's cool. I actually might pick that class, by the way. You look like Nightcrawler. Os Asimotus <laughs> are born summoners, as well as being able to summon animals to fight by their side. They're excellent tamers. The fucking Final Fantasy Tactics summons were badass as shit. Ekaflip lives for gambling. Every day is a lucky one for his disciples. Warrior gamblers who always appear in the places where they have the most to win or lose. Sadida uses plants and living war dolls in all he does. As well as being summoner, Sadida specializes in creating powerful ointments and insidious poisons. Okay. So I'm assuming like the priest kind of not necessarily like healer but like curing status effects and also causing status effects the masquerader masqueraders are unpredictable warriors who can adapt to any situation whether they're running to the hills going crazy or just strutting their stuff on the battlefield they always have a mask to match their mood interesting i'm not exactly sure what that like what you are though like it doesn't really say in that description what you're capable of in Trough's fingers, and Trough draws glory and power from the treasures and masses. Uh, creatures turned into commas. That's weird. Sacred's blood, self sac sacrifice is Sacred's motto. Her disciples are berserkers who do powers and magma every time they're hit. As well as nothing to fear from cuts or blows, they're haunt. Okay, so these are the typical berserkers, like monks and stuff like that. That's a really cool class, something I'm actually pretty interested in. The Foggernaut. Foggernauts are beings who look like machines. They originated from the ancient Suffolkian people and run on stasis. Their unraveled knowledge of the rare energy source enables them to perform powerful distance attacks. Pandawa uses bamboo milk to gain strength and fuel her philosophical discussions. Pandawas are caring warriors who know just how far they can push their bodies and other people's bodies too. Fika shield, born protectors, because consider their magic and art and the science. They use the shields with such intuition that they, that some people even believe they're alive. Huh. Zelo or Sandglass. Zelo influences time and he suits his needs. Zelos are time lords who command ob obedience from all me mechanisms related to time, such as chimes, clocks, and pendulums. And then there's a random class. And you can name it and change all, like, change different stuff, change the faces and hairstyles and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, this has been going on for long enough. I just wanted to get to this point and show you guys, you know, how some of the combat worked, show you how the game works, uh, all that good stuff. I'm, maybe I'll do some more stuff if I get, like, a group of friends to join me or something and we can all, like, group together and do some PvP. Who knows? So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little look. You can go to get this game for free right now. It's not currently, as I said, able to get on Steam unless you have a closed beta key. But you can still download the game completely for free if you go to the website. Um, just go to Google, type in Wakfu. It'll be the first thing that pops up. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's been a pleasure being able to play this game again, and I'm probably going to be playing it quite a bit on my spare time because I love this type of game. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. As always, guys, you can like the video, comment on it, let me know what you think if you want more of this series, or if you want me to make a series on this, rather. Um, if you'd like me to play it with friends, any type of recommendations you might have, all that good stuff. So until next time, guys, take it easy. Wait, I bring gifts. Right, I. Match. I have my best thing. Right now. <laughs> <laughs>